Geralt, wake up! Open your eyes! Where are the smelling salts? Death was a small price to pay to lie in a lap so lovely. And so near the wonders concealed a bit higher. Have you gone mad? Yes. As soon as I laid eyes on you, promise to stay and stroke my chin, and I shall spend the rest of eternity in a hound's body, trotting along by your well-turned calves. <sighs> Geralt? What's happened to you? Geralt? I'm Vladimir. What? Blast. Fine, fine, give me a moment. Yeah, definitely don't like being possessed. You'd not have fainted had you not resisted so fiercely. Geralt, care to explain what's going on here? Sorry about that, Shani. That wasn't me. So who was it? Me. Shut up. I didn't say anything. Sorry, wasn't talking to you. Who to, then? Well, to him. To Vladimir. Geralt, there's no one else here. Seems your lovely maiden friend can neither see nor hear me. Hmm. There's potential in that. Need to set a few ground rules. And I needn't do a thing save have the time of my life. Which is exactly what I aim to do. You're testing my patience. As you are mine. Can you please explain what's going on here? Oh, fiery. Temperament matches the drapes. Listen, I'm supposed to show Vladimir von Everek the time of his life. Turned out, he's a ghost. So, willing or not, I gotta lend him my body. Wait a minute. Are you saying you're possessed? Not at the moment. Just now he's standing next to me, coyly grinning at you. But off and on, he'll enter my body. So anything I say or do will actually be him, his mind, his intent. Uh, but what if I want to talk to you, not him? <sighs> well, she should approach me and ask me to jump out for a bit. Just come up and ask him to leave for a while. I see. Splendid! Right then, Sugar Plum. What say you we leave this dank crypt? There's a charming grove nearby where kisses taste sweeter than anywhere else in the world. I take it you're a Vladimir now. Doesn't seem like I'll have trouble telling you apart from Geralt. Don't change the subject, my sweet. If a grove's not to your liking, we can cut straight to the chase and make for the nearest haystack. I'm afraid I have to turn you down, dear ghost. A shame. In that case, point me to the nearest brothel. I've got a better idea. Just before Geralt entered the crypt to summon you, I invited him to my friend's wedding. Good heavens. That's damn good luck. No better dancer in all Redania than Vladimir von Everek. My ginger muffin. With me, you shall enjoy an evening to top all others. Wonderful. I must stop by my home first and change. So, we'll meet at the temple. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. <sighs> Why not? I'm not fond of temples, see? When alive, I'd only set foot in one to loot it. And in death, I find I despise them all the more. Could we not meet after the ceremony, go straight to the feast? Uh, all right. Seems we've no other option. Splendid. <laughs> then I shall see you at the wedding manor. I must say, Witcher, a man could lose his head for a lass like that. And that comes from none other than Vladimir von Everick, famed for his taste in women. So tell me, honestly now, man to ghost, are you her paramour? For if so, you have my word, I shall keep my distance. But if not, then... 
The Haylofts we shall devastate together. Let's say we were more than friends, once upon a time. <laughs> you tried to hide it, but I smell the tryst. I know a thing or two about men, you see. A shame, though. I'd have satisfied her well. But no cavalier would rut in another's garden. So, Witcher, time for the wedding? Let's go. Onward. I'll be right behind you. Alright, I may have sidestepped that particular little problem, at least. So Shani might be safe from him? We'll see how it goes. A comely maid. You're quite the fool if you've not plowed her yet. Keep your paws off her. I'm to enjoy myself. Can I help it that I best like tumbles in the hay with fleshy lasses? Oh, we're having our Arkham Knight moment, are we? Okay. I gotta say, since I was picking his dialogue options, that means he's technically the third controlled character after Geralt and Ciri at this game. Not the most likely person, is it? This whole witch's life, what's it like? Don't wanna know. If indeed I didn't, I'd not have asked. Go on, tell me. You wouldn't like it. Well, he's getting talkative. Hey, Roche. Come here. Come here, boy. Alright. So on my way back, are we gonna have a bunch of ghost encounters? Is that where this is going? Bloody fine mount. Good stance. Powerful rub. Stable withers. Well, well. See so you know your horses. I should say so. My two greatest passions in life. Mares and maidens. <laughs> Spooking my horse. Roach doesn't like ghosts. He also doesn't like physics. He walks straight through Good doors. Signs. I'd like to try one. What signs? Your Witcher signs. Never done it. Could be interesting. Rather not waste any time. Till the stroke of midnight. What I would rather is what matters. I mean, valid point. Your whole mission is to get show him a good time. Yet you're really being difficult about like, how dare you try to cast a spell as me? What are you tr trying to have fun? Person that I'm trying to show fun to. <laughs> Alright, we're headed towards this farm where the wedding's supposed to happen. It's conveniently very close by. I actually, for some reason, I did not foresee that. I remember that meadow. Whenever Olgird and I got up to mischief, we'd hide out in there. Once, we snuck off with some moonshine. Old cocksucker Yaramir caught us. <laughs> Ah, those were the days. I'm not sure Let's how. Go. I'm not sure how, but I totally failed to see it coming. That of course, that the party we're supposed to throw for this dead guy, and the wedding that's set up right before we meet him are totally two things that are going to tie in together. That's what that's what this whole game does is try to tie different concepts together that are next to each other and have them interact, get a bunch of characters into the same place, and yet somehow I didn't put that together in, in advance. Just like how I didn't put together to use... Slower. To, like how I failed to notice that Eirden was working on that frog, somehow. I'm sorry. No sign of her yet. We need to wait. This is very romantic. Fuck off. Behold, wars have started over uglier wenches. Well, raids have been undertaken at least. True, she looks lovely. Let's go. Whoa, whoa, hold. Mean to go in wearing that? What else? Have you seen how she's dressed? I'll not parade at that jewel side in a rank tunic. You need a robe. One daren't attend a wedding in anything less. Don't happen to have a robe handy. What do you mean? What about that?
All in all, why not? Ah, that's the spirit. Ah, this will do wonderfully. I mean, I already stole horses. I'm sure no one will recognize Perfect it. Perfect fit. It feels tailor-made. Now, for shoes. One must wear shoes to a wedding. Hmm. And we must be neat. Stop smiling as Geralt is freaking me out. You took my beard. May they draw and quarter me if I've ever seen a lovelier lass. Nothing left of you to draw and quarter, alas. Doe eyes, a swan's soft supple neck, and a waist so slim you could grip it one-handed. You're actually quite amusing this way. You see? Geralt's been a pill, a nag. That all changes today. <laughs> Dramatically, I'd say. He's never been very talkative to start with. He's been a fool, but I shall make up for that now. Will you marry me? <laughs> a big step, but I will think about it. For now, we should simply enjoy my friend's wedding. May I please speak to Geralt for a moment? Whatever for. This evening is about my pleasure, not his. Just for a moment, then you can jump right back in. Be quick. I'll not stand here doing naught. I'm to enjoy myself. Geralt, I'm about to introduce you to the newlyweds. Please make sure your friend doesn't embarrass me. I can't make him do anything. All that nonsense is his. I feel like an ass saying it. I liked some of that nonsense. Oh. What, for example? It would do you good to be more relaxed sometimes. Relaxed? So you think I'm uptight? What I mean is, it would be nice from time to time if you could sit back and enjoy life. Instead of going around solving everyone's problems. But what does... <sighs> I don't understand. Of course you don't. You're as dense as year-old hardtack. Luckily, you've got me. We'll talk later. Let's go to this wedding. The sooner the ghost has his fun, the sooner this will be over. Finally, something that's not utter tripe. We shall dance till the break of dawn. You get till midnight and not a second longer. That's not enough. I shan't even get properly soused by midnight, let alone... Make an effort. I'm sure you'll manage. You get to frolic and carouse till midnight. That's our deal. Then there's the capping. Then you go back where you came from. So be it. This way, my strawberry. Ah, hello world, I'm back. I'll be damned, a proper wedding. Overladen tables, plenty of worthy drinking companions, and a swarm of fair maids. None compared to you, my dear Rhubarb. Beware of the dog, Shani. Judging by the size of its house, the mutt must be big as a horse. Uh, thanks for your concern, but the dog house is empty. They let a man-eater like that run free? Have the wedding guests been warned? Seems we are indeed in for a cracking good time. What a lovely Rowan. I remember making necklaces of the fruit when I was a child. Ah, the berries make for splendid hooch. Olgird and I brew it in our teething years. I shall introduce you to the newlyweds now. Try to behave. For you, my Rowan Petal, I do anything. This feels like Geralt of Rivia brought to us by Nolan North. <laughs> 
Hey, a little bit of experience. Still getting that little girl. Time, Time to meet and be greeted. I shan't stray a step from your side. I'll never forgive him for taking my beard. Time to say hello. Be nice now. Once more, all the best in your new life. Thank you. It's us now. Dearies, blessings rain down upon you. May you live in health and happiness. Harmony and love forever last betwixt you. Thank you, from the bottom of our hearts. Now go, enjoy the feast. Our turn. My dear friend Aldona and her chosen one, Jonas. It's an honor. The sun shine brightly on this new path in your lives. I am Vlo- uh, This is my friend of yesteryear. Geralt of Rivia. Yes, tis I, Geralt, a witcher. Heartfelt thanks for your hospitality. I adore weddings. The brides especially. So fragrant, so tasty, I could- Righto. I'm sure we'll all have a splendid time. Tell me, Aldona, how is it you and my dear Shani know each other? We met in Oxenfurt. Both studied medicine at the academy. Wondrous times. Over quickly in my case, alas. My family couldn't afford to keep me there. I was forced to return home after one year. It's never too late to pursue an education, my dear. Your husband is certain to help you complete your studies, provide the necessary coin. I don't know. We've not talked about it. Come, Jonas, surely you've not taken Aldona as a mere diversion for the alcove. You will help her, will you not? That is between me and her. You needn't butt in. But I'm not. I merely ask. See, I've come to love your wife like a sister. So I ask you, as your brother-in-law, will you help her? I'm sure we'll discuss the matter. <laughs> That's my lad. You're a right decent chap. I knew it from the start. Jesus, I thought I picked... I saw these options and I was like, I think I picked the least offensive one to try and I think I was already creating like a super awkward situation. This guy's gonna be a problem, isn't he? We've chewed the fat enough. Time's a-wasting. Are you, uh, expected elsewhere? Me? Ha! I simply cannot wait to sample your liquors and dance with the local matrons. Jonas and I invited more than a few lovely maidens. Perhaps one of them will catch your eye. Oh, that's for damn certain. And perhaps you will catch one of their... It'd be nice, certainly, but I shan't be terribly bothered if it's not the case. Come, let's drink. That could have gone worse, right? I just called the wife Tasty. <laughs> Where are we going, Shani? The tree? We're gonna go play with the tree? You must have a splendid time. That's what matters. Make the most of it. Found yourself a perch from which to survey passing bows? What do you mean? My back aches from pounding the churn, so I'm having a... And they said fire burns hotter in an old stove. If I was your age, you'd be singing a different tune. Have you squealing like a kitty cat? Well, apparently scared her right off of that stump. And hip. I'm in here now. Oh, are we, are we gonna just cover ourselves in mud? Let's, let's do this. Let's do this. Where do I click on? What sport is this? Blustering about after pigs, are you? Lads are racing to be crowned king of the swineherds and win the prize that comes with it for their wench. Um, lady, maybe. And the rules? One must be a swineherd's son to enter, I suppose? Nay, any man can try his luck. All you need is to herd the piggies dabbed in yellow into the pen. King of the swine herds, eh? And what's this king get exactly? The king's ransom, I would hope. No coin. Honor's the prize. 
King gets a crown of laurels he pins to his saddle, rides about with pride that he's king of the swineherds. You mentioned some trifles for the lasses. Are they worthwhile at least? For certain! Lovely, every last one. Pretty as a painting. Win and see for yourself! Sounds like damned foolish nonsense. But why not give it a try? We'd be honored! Get that cripple out of there! Couldn't chase his own wench into a bed, let alone a pig into a pen. Let the Witcher give it a run! That almost had a horror movie camera angle, like the pig was about to devour him whole. <laughs> Alright, piggies. Piggy, piggy. So where's the pen? Over there? Go over there, piggy. Run away. Run away. No, no, no. Don't. Wait, they just run towards me. Go over here. How do I drive them away? Can I can I blast them? Come on, piggy. Got a nice and cozy pen for you. Oh, are people mad at me now? I'm sorry. How do I move them? Uh, can I just run into them, I guess? I thought, they, I thought they would just inherently run away from me, but they're clearly... Apparently able to just run... They'll have to run in any direction they feel like. Do I have to run around like a crazy person? I already did, technically. Run away! Run away! Okay, um... Do I hit them? Go, go that way. There we go, then now it's moving away. Get in that pen. That's... There's one. All right, go that way. All right, we go that. Go, go, go. There we go. Yeah, they they weren't really responding very much at first. Did it? Feel foolish, peasants. Learned a lesson from your better. Are the pigs penned? Indeed, they are. Master Witcher, we ain't seen such pig chasing skill in a long time. Your family had an ample pen, didn't they? Go on, admit it. My family had many pens, but that in no way means I had any practice chasing pigs. However it were, the crown's going to a good man. And the king's chosen maid deserves a fitting favor. Yeah. <laughs> Just don't go hiding it in some pouch. Brandish it on your horse so that all folk may see. What do you say to that, Shani? Ever witness such agility? <laughs> You're clearly a natural at chasing pigs through muck. You were a joy to watch. How does my heart's captor like the <laughs> prize I won for her? The rag stuffed piggy? <laughs> it's lovely, truly. I've always dreamed of owning one. Mm, tell me, Shani. What's the key with you? What do you mean? I'm on the prowl, that's clear. In Geralt's name and flesh, of course. But still, yet the more I woo you, the less you seem ready to succumb. So I ask myself, what am I missing? Perhaps you're just not my type. Considered that? Rubbish. I'm every lass's type. Is that so? Prove it. With pleasure. Show me a lass, and I'll have her eating out of my hand in the blink of an eye. Uh, that one. With the garland. Splendid choice. Now observe as Vladimir von Everek does his thing. Did I just get a picky trophy for my horse? Now, who have we here? Do I know you? That's the crux of it. We've not met. I've had to endure half a lifetime without you. <laughs> An entire lifetime, more like. A moment, my dear. Do not sabotage me, Shani. That would not be fair. Fine, fine, I'll stay out of your way. <clears throat> My sweet, you are no mere maid, 
but a marvel of nature. And now, at last, fate knocks at your door. But I, well, I don't know rightly. You needn't know anything. I know it all for us both. I shall make a true lady of you. Arm in arm, we'll grace the finest salons. Salons? Really? Actual salons? In Novigrad? And how... <laughs> in Novigrad? Oxenfurt? Why, in Kovir as well. Wherever you wish. Let's make haste to the barn. There, everything will be made clear. Nesky, step away from the barn. Who the devils are you? We're the Mrs. Brothers, and we swore to our dad on his dying day we'd keep those of your ilk far from her. You shan't keep me from anything, filthy hayseed. Lads, mutants calling us names. Stand down, swineherds, or Lord Witcher will give you a bloody mighty drubbing. Where's a plowing fence board when you need it? Show us what you got. Hot damn, boy. You needn't ask me twice. Who wants a spanking? Oh, I'm over here now. Fence hey, guys. Boards, the perfect weapon for sweaty ass swineherds. Perfect fit for your gun, you plowing gentle fuck. They've got a lot of hit points, is what they got. Ow. Come on, gotta space him out. Oh, crap, crap. Crap. Everywhere. There. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. And I'm not allowed to use any signs, am I? Alright, well, that happened. <laughs> Had enough, Lordlin. That'll teach you to woo and dupe decent maids. Got my eye on you. Nesky, let's go. Where to, my love? I was to turn you into a lady. Don't. You must explain I was not at fault. They lunged at me. Well, go on, chase her. In your dreams. There it is. You fucked up. She's gone. Is that how you woo the ladies? You always that charming in life? It worked. More often than not. Listen. Tongue and fists on a leash from now on. Have your fun, but don't beat the wedding guests. With my hands. Fine. I shall try. Uh-oh. Shani approaches. Unlikely to be happy, eh? You made this mess. You do the explaining. Oh. All right. <sighs> your methods... quite unusual. To woo a woman by beating up her brothers. Creative. Wonder what else you have up your sleeve. My dear girl, what don't I have up my sleeve? I'd gladly demonstrate. Perhaps behind the barn? Uh, I think you've demonstrated enough. Let's just enjoy ourselves, all right? You don't have all that much time left. Your wish is my command, milady. I'd never deny a maid so fair featured. Off we go. It's, it's kind of fun role playing a completely different character in parallel. I can make all sorts of shitty decisions because it's someone else's fault. Ah, so good to shake the kinks from one's bones. We must find more, more fun. We gone fishing? Is there someone in the lake? I think there's someone in the lake over there. Seen what he pulled from the water? An old pot. Mayhaps his lass wears pots for shoes, in case she can't find a privy. You were supposed to fish out my slipper. 
I'm at a dance now with one foot bed. It is a wedding. I've got to wear slippers. Oh, look, dearie. I did. Take there. Muck must have sucked it deep in. Well, poke your paws in there. Rut for it. Rubbish game. What's all this, then? <gasps> They're playing slip in for a slipper. Never heard of it? Never. Us gentry folk have other diversions. What's the object? Maid tosses a shoe in the water. A man's got to dive in and fish it out. And once I retrieve it? Well, your maid'll be pleased as punch. Or it means you're a gallant bow. And awful handy. Is that all? No prize? Not even a kiss? That depends on the miss in question. If she wants to give you a kiss, she will. But she ain't obliged. Oh, my. Oh, there's more to come. <laughs> Prime game. Shawnee, your slipper. I shall prove I dive to any depth for you. Seems like a pretty nice shooter. You probably wouldn't want to probably wouldn't want to just jump in the water. Oh wow, it's deep. It's surprisingly deep in here. All right, where are you at? Turns out I have special skills. I thought I was gonna retrieve the other person's shoe. Honestly, oh there it is. That was easy enough. I got both of them because I'm so good at this. You're welcome, everyone. Is that all the shoes? Oh, there's more shoes. How many failed bows have there been? That's not a shoe, is it? No, that's a shoe. They could all be Shawnee's shoes for all I know. Do another quick scan, because apparently I have infinite breathing. Not infinite, obviously, but it's... It's lasting a while. No, nah, I think that's all three. Alright, overachiever over here. Johnny. Oh, there you are. <laughs> Damn mucky that pond. Sank in up to my armpits. Uh, I see no amount of silt could keep you from my shoe. And all the other shoes over tossed in the lake. Always better to do a bit more and even gain naught by it than to do too little and face regret. Oh, that's quite the theory. One founded in practice. For instance, I can now approach the owner of any of these slippers, and she will lift up her skirt and bend over. To don it, of course. Ah, oh, so generous. And clever. Just figuring that out? Hmm, I believe I've earned a kiss. Well, find the owners of those shoes. One might agree. Don't be jealous, Shani. That was but a jest. I don't give a piffle about the others. Oh, well. Recognize this, Cinderella. Where did you get My that out of? My shoe? <laughs> mm -hmm. Now extend your supple leg and let me slide it in. That is, on. Uh, thank you. <laughs> 